Hi guys, welcome back for day two in our boys bedroom makeover week. Today I'm going to show you how we made their DIY wooden beds. These are a standard twin size bed frame and headboard. And I'll have all the lumber needed with like the sizing, measurements, I'll have all that listed in the blog post below. So if you want more specifics for the cuts that we did, then just check that. But today I'm going to show you how we did it. So I started off by drilling three pocket holes into each of our shorter 1x6 boards. These are going to be the head and the foot side boards of the bed. I'm using a Craig jig here to drill the holes and you can just set the board thickness and it gives you a perfect angle for pocket holes. I definitely prefer to drill pocket holes because it means that all your screws will only be seen from the inside of the bed and then it keeps the sides of the frame clean and it just gives the best aesthetic once you're done. Once the holes are all drilled, then we're going to take some one and a quarter inch screws and we're going to attach our shorter two by two pieces to one board and then that's going to make the foot of the bed and then the longer two by twos to the other. You can see I use this little clamp to attach the board and the little foot and that helps a lot especially with screwing the first one in. Also my husband made this little, I don't know, this little wooden piece there and that helped me to get the exact height that we wanted. You can adjust the height of the bed to what you prefer but we just made a little, um, kind of like a little jig ourselves with a random extra piece of wood. Then our next step is to actually put together the headboard. This is really simple. We just took our boards for the headboard and nailed them in. You're gonna see the nails on this one, but I kind of like how that looks. Um, just do it with a finishing hammer and yeah, be gentle because this is gonna be like the main highlight of the bed. Then I did the same thing with our long side one by six pieces. I drilled pocket holes and then here you can see me attaching them to our foot of the bed. So that foot board, if you wanna call it. Um, and then once that was attached, then I flipped it over and then we put our little blocks underneath that gave us the height from the bed. And then we drilled through the pocket holes into the headboard. Once that was attached, you can really start to see how the bed's going to look, but we needed a few more details. So using our long two by two boards, we lined those up flush with the bottom of our sides of the beds and also the header and footboard. And then we staple gunned those up. Then I screwed some screws about every four to six inches and that makes the frame for our slats. So we just drilled holes through the ends of the slats close to the edges, and then we used some one and a quarter inch drywall screws to attach those. And that is pretty much the final product. I'm so impressed with how it turned out and also how easy it was to put together. This took us no more than an hour to do the whole project, and it costs less than half of what we were looking at for like the least expensive IKEA bed. So we basically got two for one. I was really excited about that. My husband also did add a little um, piece of wood, kind of like a slat at the top, just for like the, you know, where the head's going to be at. And then we popped him in the rooms, just added on a twin size bed, and I'm so impressed. Anyways, guys, if you would like to see the final room tour and the big reveal, stay tuned because it's coming up on Friday. I hope you enjoyed this video and Monday's video about how I redid their dressers. Stay tuned, and I will see you guys soon.